witch's final resting place. Lodgok said the helmet was in her sarcophagus. A dead Ashwinder. Your compatriots must have made off with the helmet. Lodgok won't like this. Better show this to Lodgok. I know there's a mechanism to open this door. Lord Gok, the sarcophagus had been raided. I found no helmet, only a dead Ashwinder. Damn, they got here first. We need to get it before Rookwood uses it to further ingratiate himself to Ranrock. I saw one of their campsites not far from here, but I fear you must go in alone. My fighting days are behind me. I'll head there now. Good. There's no time to lose. Get to that helmet before Rookwood does, or we will lose our chance at any leverage, no matter how small, with Ranrock. To think those wretched thieves... Lord Gok, what should we do about the helmet thieves? I'm afraid there's no choice but to stop them. Go to their camp and deal with them at once. Get to that helmet before Rookwood does, or we will lose our chance at any leverage, no matter how small, with Ranrock. There they are, the Ashwinders. What's that? Ah, how delightful! Explosive! You've been known to you let Nora Treadwell. Glacier, you. We're about to wish you. Stupid. <laughs> I've seen you, Jewel. Uh, You've made a great uh, mistake. Uh, That's just the beginning. Glacius, window. Take a hit, are you? Lumos. Place it. Expelliarmus. 
The beasts are safer now. Rebellion. That's it. This is for Rookwood. I'll watch the light go out of your eye. Lumos. Glacis. Yeah. I've seen your map, and I'm not afraid of it. Head in the clouds, this one! I haven't even had to see yet! Pay for your deed! <laughs> Expelliarmus. Revelio. Cool, it always takes longer. I wonder if I'm safe to explore in there. I retrieved the helmet from the Ashwinders. Well done! This is sure to impress Ranrock. The helmet shines even more brightly than I imagined. The etchings, the contour of the profile, remarkable. It looks stunning, Lodgok. I see why you wanted it back. You did the thieves a service by recovering it. I know many a goblin who would have killed for it. Ah, then I'm glad to be rid of it myself. Thank you. This should earn Ranrock's trust. I will take it to him immediately. It may distract him from his search. His search? It, uh, it is merely an inkling. You have impressed me greatly, friend. I am glad that I trusted you. We shall speak soon. Best to keep our arrangement quiet for now. Many will not believe that our aims might possibly be aligned. Lord Gok, what should we do about the helmet thieves? I'm afraid there's no choice but to stop them. Go to their camp and deal with them at once. Get to that helmet before Rookwood does, or we will lose our chance at any leverage, no matter how small, with Ranrock.
Revelio. These rocks have seen better days. Rebellion. Protect. 
Jago. Revelio. Incendio. Revelio. 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 Oh. 
Revelio. He wasn't making it up. Well, we've come this far. Miss Willardsy might get an answer about these butterflies. Nice to see you, my young friend. Ironically, I didn't see ahead of time how bored I'd be in divination class. Those assignments were challenging uh, enough for you. Uh, uh. I've completed all of my tasks, Professor Onai. Very well done. Although I must admit, I did have something of a premonition that you would follow through. Now, as you have no doubt sharpened your perception by completing my assignment, I am curious, based upon the knowledge that one's present, and even one's past may reveal traces of what is to come. What do you see in your own future? I see good things. After all, the future's mine for the taking, and I shall take what I must. Hmm. The future is not etched in stone. It can be carved out by those with very strong wills, and you do seem to possess one. But this talk of tomorrow should not divert us from your present success. I shall inform our good deputy headmistress of your exemplary performance. And if that performance is any omen of what your future may hold, then I, for one, see great things. Channel your magic towards your targets.
You have it. Now, why not practice the new spell Rebellion. of the training domain? Professor, do you have a moment? I do. I was wondering how you decided to teach divination. Ah, the art of divination is an important yet often misunderstood branch of magic. Those of us who possess the sight are rare. And, as is often the case with the unique among us, we can frequently be misread, even feared. When I was granted the opportunity to teach others about my gift and the good it can do, I was most grateful. I see. Natty told me that you and she moved here from Uganda, where she had attended Wagadu. Yes, Natsai and I both loved Uganda and Wagadu. But we are happily settled here now. I had foreseen such a change, but did not know the details until it occurred. I was glad of the outcome. You would be wise to remember that the consequences of our actions are complex. And so, divining what is to come is not as simple as gazing into a crystal ball or studying the bottom of a teacup. I find it truly intriguing, even if I don't fully understand it. <laughs> intriguing. That is one word for it. And I'm certain you will come to understand many things more deeply in the days ahead. You are a student at Hogwarts, after all. It cannot have escaped you that we in the Wizarding world are forever navigating the seemingly inexplicable. Of course, Professor. Now, I know that we both have places to be. Not because I have the sight, mind you, but because I am a professor and you are a student. I have enjoyed our conversation. Descender! Excellent! I think you have it. <laughs> you must stop preparing and put your newly honed skills to the test outside of the classroom. I've always said the travel
off. She wasn't making it up. Well, we've come this far. Miss Willardsy might get an answer about these butterflies. Miss Willardsy will never believe where the butterflies led me. Revelio. Well, well. Look what we have here. Glacius. This place has seen better days. Does it get any more cozy than Hogsmeade? Rebellio. If I thought I could complete. Oh, please tell me you have an answer for me about the butterflies. Hello, Miss Willardsy. Well, what happened? Did you find them? They led me into the forest and revealed a treasure. Oh, how lovely! I'm glad you were rewarded for your efforts. <sighs> Perhaps one day I'll be able to bring myself to go into the forest. For now, I'm happy simply knowing there's something so lovely to see, should I dare. Don't get the one to find. 
It's me, Gareth. Do you have a moment? Were you calling me, Gareth? I was. After you helped me with that fupa feather and potions, I reckoned you might be just the person I need. You see, I have an idea for a fizzing, wisby inspired beverage, but I'm missing a key ingredient. <laughs> you and your concoctions. I don't know how you come up with these things. It's a gift, truly. So, I suspect the key ingredient in fizzing wisbies is dried billywig stings. I heard there's a store of them in Honeyduke's cellar. I'd get them myself, but my Aunt Matilda has her eye on me. Thinks I need to focus on potions class for a while, not for my own bruise. I was hoping you could follow a secret passage to Honeyduke's cellar and grab a few dried billywig stings for me. Sounds simple enough, and who wouldn't want to go to Honey Dukes? Ah, brilliant. Thank you. The passage is hidden behind the statue of a one-eyed witch in the third floor corridor. Just tap it with your wand and say, Descendium. Are you asking me to steal from a shop? Goodness, it's not as if I'm asking you to rob Gringotts. Honey Dukes is more than enough, and I only need a few. It's a sweets ingredient. They won't be missed, trust me. Couldn't you have someone buy the dried billywigs things? They're not for sale, and you never know when the cellar's going to be locked. So, the reliable way in and out is through the secret entrance. I'll see what I can do, Gareth. Fair enough. You shall be the first one to taste my newest brew if you can be of help. Perhaps I can convince a meat to help me with my potions homework, get my aunt to loosen her reins a bit. I'll need to get those dried billywigs things for Gareth if he's to finish his latest concoction. A one-eyed witch statue shouldn't be too hard to find. Revelio! This looks like the right statue. Now, what was the password? Descendium. Goodness, who knew this was all down here? A lift must be how I get down. Looks broken. Confringo, prepare. Rebellion. That seems to have done the trick. Cease to surprise me. Revelio. Supposed to get out of here. Wingardium Leviosa. If I can get some traffic, I think I can get it to work.
Revelio. Going to have to get past this. Wingardia Leviosa. Repulsa. Wingardia Leviosa. Lumos. Wingardia Leviosa. Reparo. Accio. Revelio. Accio. Descendo. Repairer. Levioso. Revelio. Confringo. Revelio. Way of that platform. Levioso. That did the trick. Uh. Revelio. This must be the way. I need to find a way to open that gate.
Confirm. Something smells sweet. Must be close to honey jukes. Meet, here I come. Lumos. Honey jukes. I can smell the chocolate. Now, where would I find the dried billywig stings for Gareth? Have the dried billywigs things. Now back to Gareth. I can only imagine how his new recipe is going to turn out. Hello, Gareth. I have those dried billywigs things. You got them? Incredible. Getting them was more work than I expected. I'd like to be paid for my time. Of course. I didn't think it would be that much trouble, but I'm happy to pay for your help. Thank you again. I'll let you know when I brewed my first batch of fizzing whiz beer.
Hello again, Mr. Moon. Oh, I was hoping to see you again, my young friend. Uh, Gladwin Moon, a Hogwarts caretaker, at your service. First, uh, please allow me to apologize if I seemed a bit uh, unsteady when we last met. I'm afraid I had a rather disconcerting encounter. Although I hear your visit to Hogsmeade was even more eventful than mine. I suppose you could call it eventful. I certainly wasn't expecting a troll attack. Oh, of course not! Um, from what I understand, the village was lucky you were there. In fact, my recent visit to Hogsmeade is the reason I was hoping to bump into you. I could use your help with something. Do you see that curious statue over there? Watch what happens when that light changes from day to night. Now, if you wouldn't mind humouring me for a moment, see if you can remove the moon from the statue. Ooh, odd little contraptions, aren't they? It seems the statue vanishes once the moon is removed. Which, incidentally, can only be done at night. Uh, why don't you hold on to that one for now and I'll explain more as we walk. Uh, ever since that fateful day in the village, those curious statues have begun appearing about the castle. A fair number have been strewn around Hogsmeade. Someone, it seems, is trying to torment me. You see, that day in Hogsmeade, I turned a corner and came face to face with a boggart, or, or shapeshifter, if you will, uh, which takes the form of whatever scares you most. This one took the form of a demiguise. A demiguise? <gasps> yes! Terrifying creature that can see the future. Wholly unnerving. I encountered one when I was a lad in Korea. Terrible experience. Uh, those statues are demigises. The moons, I assume, are an uninspired play on my name. Some jackanapes used a boggart to learn my greatest fear and use it against me. I have my suspicion as to the scoundrel or scoundrels responsible. It is my hope that they will slip up and reveal themselves as the statues disappear. That is why I need your help in removing the statues. Why me? 